Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. First things first, guys, make sure you smash a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as you can probably tell, I'm not in my usual backdrop stand over in Manchester after the game tonight. And uh, yeah, it was a fourth defeat to Manchester City this season for Chelsea, going down 1-0 as City lifted the Premier League title for the third consecutive season. And actually, you know, today's defeat consigned us to a bottom half finish. We now cannot finish above Fulham or Brentford in the Premier League. And um, we now have lost our last six games in a row against Manchester City. And we haven't actually scored against City since Kai Havertz's goal in Porto. So we're on quite quite a bad run against them. Um, in all honesty, today's game, I don't think any Chelsea fans expected us to get anything out of the game at all. Obviously, nine changes from Manchester City, um, having secured the title with Arsenal's loss to Nottingham Forest. So, you know, they 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 played essentially their B side, which is why I was really pissed off with Lampard's lineup because, you know, you've set up 3-5-2, you've packed out the midfield as if we're like to try and stay in the game. I'm not really sure why, what, what we're staying in the game for. You know, the season's done. We're not going to beat these. We might as well go down fighting and, 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 and have a bit of a go with it. You know, the three, I hate the 3-5-2 because, you know, all we do it is utilising a system that doesn't use any of the wingers that we paid loads of money for and that need minutes and that these games should be used for to get them minutes in the team, to get them better prepared for next season, more more used to the league. And yet we're going 3-5-2 with fucking Sterling and Havertz up top. This didn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, and I don't know what the likes of Mudrick, Madweke must be thinking, you know, because they, these guys signed to, and they need, they need to be playing. You know, the only way you're going to improve young players is by giving them a consistent run of games, not in the side one week, then out the side. Um, it's just it's just not acceptable from Lampard. The, yeah, so to, I was fuming with the lineup today. First 15 minutes was, well, first, well, yeah, first 15 odd minutes was, was fucking dreadful. So slow, barely got on the ball. City looked like carving us open every single time. Cole Palmer was absolutely battering Aspie down that right-hand side. I mean, look, we love Dave. He's been an absolute legend for the club, but fuck me. His legs are gone and he, he is finished and he's got to be let go at the end of the season. There's no way that he can stay here for another season. We obviously go 1-0 down pretty quickly inside 10 minutes. Uh, Julian Alvarez with the goal. I'm not sure what Fafana's doing uh, for that goal, but you know, your game plan's out the window after 10 minutes, essentially, because we've gone there to to basically try and park the bus and see if we can nick a goal on the counter-attack and hold and, 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 and try and hold them out. And the defence was breached after 10 minutes. And at that point, you sort of sat there thinking, fuck, how many are we going to concede today? Could, could Literally could be anything. But credit where it's due to us today, you know, we did actually create a few chances and we could have easily scored a couple of goals um, on, on, on another day. But how many times have we said that this season? You know, Sterling once again, fucking hell. You know, not only a guard of honour for him for his city teammates today. You know, he's he comes back and he's he's has opportunities to score and he just fluffs his lines all the time. It's just not good enough. It isn't good enough at all from him. And you know, he gets the two goals last week and he just follows it up with a completely shit performance this week. There's no consistency. You know, you've come from Manchester City, you we've paid decent money for you, fifty million. You're on three hundred odd k a week and you can't string together two good performances. That's not on. You know, you've said you've come come to the club to be the main man and yet you're putting in performances like that week after week after week and you don't even deserve to be in the starting lineup I don't understand why Lampard keeps persisting with Sterling he just looks a yard off it passing's not there touch is poor dribbling's not great either decision making shocking he just had a terrible season and uh, honestly if an offer came in for him in the summer I wouldn't I wouldn't be adverse to letting him go I really wouldn't be because you know I just don't think he's got what it takes to, to be a success at Chelsea. Obviously, under Pochettino next season, it could be different. But I've just seen nothing this season from Sterling to think, shit, there's a real good player there. I mean, a couple of goals against Forrest last week. But other than that, what's he done all season? Absolutely fuck all. And, you know, I think we expected so, so much more from him. So, yeah, not not good from him. He's not, he's not the only one. But, yeah, it was it was, a, it was a tough watch today for Sterling. Havertz, oh, I don't need to say anything else on Kai Havertz. It's just, it's just a waste of time. Everyone knows my thoughts on him. I think Chelsea fans are quite unanimous in the fact that it's just not going to work for him. And Chelsea, if an offer comes in in the summer, then, then we, we need to shift him on and just kind of thank him for what he's done and, and sort of forget 
about all the rest. But yeah, lucky to only go in 1 0 down at the break. I thought Loftus Sheik had a decent game in midfield. Um, some good runs showing his physicality. But again, our final pass is so poor. It's either, we either over hit everything or it doesn't even beat the first man. Um, and yeah, we had chances, but ultimately City didn't even leave first gear. And for Lampard, you know, he's got two games left now. Um, I just don't know why he just doesn't go for it more, why he's always playing so safe, so defensive. You know, he's playing a load of players today that half them, the guys in the fucking team aren't even going to be here next season or don't, or don't even want to be at the club. So I couldn't really make much sense of that. Um, obviously, Mudrik Medweke came on, made a bit of a difference. Um, should have seen them earlier. They should have started. No excuses for them not to be starting. Um, it was just the same old from Chelsea, though. It really was, you know, we could have been, we could still be playing now and you know and it and it wouldn't wouldn't make much difference we still wouldn't have put the ball in the back of the net um city was literally it felt like a testimonial match you know it was party vibes fucking inflatable bananas and beach balls everywhere posnaning it was just taking a piss out of us and you know if they needed to go up another level they could have easily gone up through the gears but they didn't need to and we just didn't really have any answers yes we did create a few opportunities as i said but yeah it was just flat from us again today no real surprises and yeah, I think the biggest thing for me as well is that like I'm really surprised at Lampard's treatment of the younger players. You know, you you had the impression that he was someone that gave youth opportunity, liked to play the young players. Obviously, the first time round, he, he blooded in Mason Mount, Mason Mount, Reese James, Tammy Abraham, Tamori played quite a lot on, uh, under him in that first season. Obviously, different circumstances because of the transfer ban, but he still used those guys. And this time, you know, we got Madrid, Madweke, uh, Chukwemeka. You know, he's just not using any of the youngsters. You know. I just didn't get it. Trick Mecca's treatment at this club has been shocking this season, you know. He was signed in the summer, um, you know, for, for, for decent money. Uh, Tuchel saying at the time, you know, he's going he's, he's gonna to go straight into the first team squad. He's going he's gonna to play regularly. Didn't really play regularly. He featured a bit under Grandpa. The guy's played about half an hour since fucking January. And then we stop him from going from the under-20s World Cup to play regular football because we've got in, injuries to Kante and Kovacic. And yet he sits on the bench for 80 minutes against the fucking Man City B team. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I cannot get my head around it. He plays a good 10 minutes, so he looked decent when he came on. And you've got Lampard after the game saying, oh, I want to give him more minutes, but I've got to think about your job. Mate, you're out of a fucking job this time next week. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about your job. Why are you starting Sterling? Why are you starting Havertz? Like, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Oh, I want to give these guys more minutes. Well, you're the manager. Fucking give them more minutes then. They deserve to be playing. They're the future of this football club. So what are you playing at? I really don't get it, and I'm, I am sick of Lampard's kind of comments in the press conferences now. Is 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 team selection, and this second spell has just been a complete and utter disaster from 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 the from the get go. And the sooner it ends, the better. You know, obviously we'll get a great send off on on Sunday against Newcastle. But yeah, it would be thank you and, and and goodbye. And you know, he's he's can't be coaching this football club again. It is as simple as that. But yeah, those are really my thoughts on on on, on the game. You know, nothing. Nothing different from anything we've really seen this season. But yeah, guys, make sure you smash a like, subscribe to the channel, less than 50 to 3K now. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me get there as quickly as possible. And leave your thoughts in the comments below, guys. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Up the Chels.